Managers can now review and evaluate remote worker analytics for employees under their supervision using the Remote Worker Dashboard. This dashboard allows you, as a manager, to see specific remote work information about the people that mean the most to you. When first opened, the dashboard displays information, such as the employee count in relation to all of your direct and indirect reports, and not the whole organization. Dynamically change the view of the visualizations by selecting an item from a table or chart, or by entering filter options. This dashboard includes two additional manager-related filters. The supervisor filter allows you to view information about the direct reports of one or several supervisors in your downline. The employee field lists those people that report to that manager or set of managers. Select one or more employees to filter the view of the graphics to show data for just those individuals. Similar to the administrator analytics, the remaining visualizations provide you with information about the distribution of your on-site, hybrid, and remote employees, along with the percentage of time they work remote, the types of workers by departments and locations, and a table of the days your employees have scheduled to work out of the office. The Remote Worker Details Grid displays a list of employees that meet the current filter criteria. Select the View Request Details link for an employee to see the specifics of the remote work request. Global Payroll delivers a new dashboard, providing administrators insight into payroll trends. The Global Payroll Trends dashboard enables you to view interactive visualizations for the work areas that you're responsible for. This dashboard helps you to identify peaks and analyze fluctuation over time for earnings and deductions, off-cycle processes, payroll status, payroll frequency, and so on. Dashboard visualizations display your global payroll trends data in different views. For better analysis, refine the data set you work with on the dashboard using the time filter, predefined payroll filters, or add your own. You can see the earnings and deductions that appear on the payment summary. These bar graph visualizations enable you to see the number of on-cycle and off-cycle calendars by a specific period of time, number of active employees, and how many employees are terminated with pay, or how many are in other payroll status that you have. The Payments by Frequency chart shows the pay slips for each payment frequency. You can also see the payment methods over a period of time. Use these bar charts to view the earnings and deductions by month and category. Earnings and deductions drill down grids divide the payroll amounts to identify the retro amount. You can also track the amount not taken for deductions. You can drill down to analyze category members, retro amounts, and employees contributing to the category by clicking on the category. You're transferred to the Global Payroll Category Breakdown Dashboard, where you can compare side-by-side -side the total by category and the breakdown for each member. The Member Details Grid provides information about employees and pay groups contributing to the selected category. You can go to the Results by Calendar Group page to review specific information for each employee by clicking the Details link. Time administrators and managers can now evaluate payable time analytics using the Payable Time Insight and Payable Time Trend dashboards. The search index used for these dashboards is enabled for real-time indexing. Use the Payable Time Insight dashboard to identify possible data or processing issues in the organization. You can filter the data you see on the dashboard by the delivered filters for Time Reporter Group, Payable Status, Business Unit, Department, and Location, or you can add your own filters using additional filters. Changing the date or date range updates all visualizations automatically. Visualizations come in different chart forms to best present the data. 
For example, the Needs Review metric visualizations provide an overview of payable time statuses that may require attention. Use quick links to access pages that may be useful in resolving issues. The Payable Time by Status bar chart displays all payable time distribution by status, like approved, closed, denied, estimated, needs approval, and rejected by payroll. Use the Payable Status by Department visualization to view payable time distribution by status and department, which could be an indicator of process issues. You can hover over a segment of the chart to view more information. View exception counts by severity and the details. Use the work versus non-work visualization to view the distribution of work and non-work hours. Use the TRC category drill-down visualization to view payable time distribution by TRC category based on the TRC categories that your organization has set up. The payable time by TRC category is a double donut with the TRC categories in the inner ring and the individual TRCs in the outer ring. Use the Payable Time Trend Dashboard to view payable time trends by department and on the basis of average overtime cost. Use the Payable Time Trend by Department visualization to view the payable time trend by department over the past year. The Payable Time Average Overtime Cost visualization shows the trend of overtime cost for each department over the last year. This completes our demonstration of the Time and Labor Payable Time Dashboards feature. The Employee Calendar provides employees with an at-a-glance view of their own calendar, as well as peer and manager calendars. Employees can view events such as absences, schedules, holidays, work anniversaries, and birthdays. Use the Employee Calendar tile to access the employee's team calendar page. Peers are determined based on the direct reports access type that is used and who else reports to the person that you report to. Toggle between weekly and bi-weekly for different views of the calendar for the respective period. You can request an absence for yourself from the calendar. For example, add a sick day request for today. Review the information of the absence request and close the pages. The icon on the bottom right corner of a day box indicates the approval status of the request. Select the day box to view the details of the absence. For the sick day you just requested, you can choose to cancel it or view the request details. From the calendar, you can view the details of the entries for your peers as well. However, you can't request absences or perform any related actions for them. This completes our demonstration of the Employee Calendar feature. PeopleSoft enhances the life insurance and accidental death plans and benefits for dependents. This gives benefits administrators the flexibility to define the relationships for dependent life coverage. You can enroll only dependents to the dependent and spousal life plans based on the relationships defined in the life and accidental death plans, for example, on one of the benefits plan enrollment pages shown here. This completes the control dependent data for life plans using configuration feature description. You can now enter comments when you add or update a job transaction in Fluid, allowing you to share comments for an approval request. The summary step of the Fluid job data pages displays the comments box, where you can enter additional remarks about a specific transaction. If you submit a transaction and overlook adding comments, you still have an opportunity to enter remarks in the final submission step to ensure you capture this information. When the approver receives a job data request, the latest comment will appear as part of the request. Request History allows you to view all the comments pertaining to this transaction request. Multiple comments may happen when the approver has pushed back a request and you have resubmitted it. 
Request history is also available from the Job Details page, where you can maintain a record of all comments for each job data row. This completes the Job Modernization Allow Requesters to Share Comments with Approvers feature description. PeopleSoft enhances your organization's ability to display the candidate's preferred first name in recruiting solutions. Candidates can now see their preferred first name on the Careers Welcome page. Recruiters and administrators can search for an applicant by their preferred first name in the search pages for applicants and applications. The Recruiting Solutions team prepares the applicant for hire and submits the request to the HR system. The system displays the applicant's preferred first name across the Recruiting Solutions pages. The HR administrator can now process the new hire and enter their personal data. The preferred first name entered in Recruiting Solutions defaults into personal data as part of the Manage Hires process. This example shows the new hire's preferred first name on a person data page. This completes the Preferred First Name Enabled in Recruiting Solutions feature description. The employee's context is now retained when a manager switches between absence pages within the Team Time Navigation collection. For example, when you select an employee from the Request Absence page and access the View Requests page from the left-hand panel later, the system retains the ID and employee record of the employee behind the scene and displays the same individual on the new page, making the user experience seamless across all absence transactions. This completes the Team Time Navigation Collection Retain the Context Across Pages feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.